Imagine a world where knowledge is power, and that power is held by a select few. This is the hidden world of the 1%, a world filled with age-old wisdom and hermetic secrets. The term hermetic derives from Hermes Trismegistus, an ancient Egyptian sage. His teachings, a blend of mysticism, philosophy and science, have been passed down through generations, often through secret societies. These teachings, known as hermeticism, hold keys to understanding the universe and manipulating its laws. The principles of hermeticism are not just antiquated ideas. They are the guiding forces behind many of the world's most powerful individuals. From the boardrooms of multinational corporations to the corridors of political power, these secrets have been leveraged to maintain and amplify influence. These secrets are not just old myths. They are powerful tools used by the most influential people in the world. The 1%, the world's most influential people, have always held a fascination for the unknown. These individuals, the upper echelon of society, are known to wield power and influence, but what's less known is the secret knowledge they possess. This knowledge is rooted in ancient wisdom, the Hermetic Principles, a set of philosophical laws dating back to antiquity. The 1% don't just understand these laws, they apply them to control their reality and manipulate the world around them. Just imagine these secrets, once the preserve of the ancient Egyptian god Thoth, now serve as the playbook for the world's most influential. From the law of correspondence, which postulates the interconnectedness of all things, to the law of mentalism, suggesting that everything in the universe is mental and thought-based. These principles aren't just abstract concepts, they're tools that the 1% use to maintain their positions of power. But what exactly are these principles and how do they work? And at the heart of Hermeticism are seven fundamental laws of the universe. These principles are as old as time itself, yet they remain largely unexplored by the masses. Let's delve into two of these laws, the law of correspondence and the law of mentalism. The law of correspondence illustrates that the macrocosm and microcosm are reflections of each other, meaning the patterns we see in the larger universe can also be found within our own personal universe. This law helps us understand our place in the grand scheme of things. The law of mentalism, on the other hand, posits that all is mind. The universe is mental. This principle suggests that our thoughts shape our reality. So by mastering our mind, we can shape our world. These laws govern the way the world works, and understanding them can give immense power. And this power is not just theoretical, it has practical implications. Let's delve into the world of the 1% and see how they apply these principles. Picture this, a tycoon, one of the wealthiest individuals on the planet, making a strategic business decision. It's not just a simple calculation of profit and loss, but a deeper, more profound process. This tycoon, like many in the 1%, leverages the hermetic principle of correspondence, the idea that patterns repeat across different levels of reality. They observe patterns in the market, in society, even in nature, and use these to predict and capitalize on future trends. The law of mentalism, another key hermetic principle, also plays a significant role. The 1% understand that all is mind, the universe is mental. They harness the power of their thoughts, their will, to shape reality, to manifest their desires. It sounds mystical, but it's a practice rooted in centuries-old wisdom, and it's a powerful tool in the hands of the few. The implications of these secrets are far-reaching. The secrets of Hermeticism may be hidden, but their impact on society is far from invisible. These ancient principles, held closely by the world's wealthiest, undeniably shape the fabric of our society. They influence economic structures, political strategies, and even social dynamics. The law of correspondence, the principle that the microcosm mirrors the macrocosm and vice versa, is often used to justify the concentration of wealth. Similarly, the principle of mentalism, the idea that all is mind, is leveraged to maintain power often through subtle manipulations of public perception. Yet, 
the importance of understanding these principles extends beyond the realm of the 1%. These secrets offer a unique lens through which we can understand our world and perhaps even reshape it. By understanding them, we gain the tools to question, challenge, and potentially disrupt established power structures. It's time to uncover these secrets and level the playing field.